Hi there, in this video I'm going to explain quadratic factorization and the method is best explained using examples. So I have three examples here. Example 1, part A, we're going to factorize this quadratic x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now before I factorize this quadratic, let me show you the method. Now the first step when it comes to the method of quadratic factorization is to multiply the x squared and the constant terms together. So if we go back to the paper and pen, and in step number one, as I said in the screenshot, we need to multiply the x squared and the constant terms together. So x squared times plus one is plus one x squared. So that is step number one done. Let's go back to the screenshot. So if we go to step number two, we need to think about two terms which when multiplied gives the answer to step number one. And when you add these terms together, you get the x term in the quadratic. So going back to the paper and pen, so we need to think about two terms. When we multiply them, we get plus one x squared, but also when we add them together, we get plus two x, the x term. So in this case, the two terms could be plus one x, and plus 1x because plus 1x times plus 1x will give us plus 1x squared the answer of step number one and also plus 1x plus 1x when I add these terms together I get the x term which is plus 2x so your two terms that you thought about need to satisfy both conditions so remember the conditions first when you multiply your two terms you should get the answer to step number one, but also when you add your two terms together, so when added, you should get the x term within the quadratic. So in this case, let's go back to the screenshot. So step number three is to replace the x term in the quadratic by the two terms that we thought about. So let's go back to the paper and pen. So this is what step three is about. I need to replace this 2x term, the x term, by the terms that we thought about. So I'm going to keep the x squared as is. I'm going to replace the x term 2x by the two terms that we thought about, which are plus 1x, plus 1x, keeping the plus 1 at the end. So what we did is over here, so what we've done is we replaced that term by the two terms that we thought about. Now, if we go back to the screenshot, step number four now is to factorize the answer to step number three using grouping. So if we go back to the paper and pen, so here is step number four. I need to factorize the answer to step number three using grouping. So here's the idea of grouping. The, the idea is first, we need to group these terms in pairs. So this means that I need to write the first two terms, x squared plus 1x in a bracket. And I also need to write the remaining two terms, 1x plus 1 in a bracket as well. So I group the first two terms and I also group the last two terms using brackets. So the second step of grouping is I need to factorize each bracket using common factor factorization. So for the first bracket, I can take a common factor of x, leaving me with x plus 1. For the second bracket, I can take out a common factor of 1, leaving me also with x plus 1. Now, when it comes to this stage, so once you've taken out a common factor from each of these brackets, this is a good double check. These terms that you have within the brackets should be the same. So they must always be the same when it comes to the grouping process. So since they're the same, in the last step, I can take out the x plus one as a common factor, and I'm left with x plus one. So this should be the solution to the quadratic when factorized. So this is the answer to example 1a. So, if we go back to the screenshot, I have another example to do. 
uh, example 1b. So let's have a go at this together. So let's factorise in the same way x squared plus 5x plus 6. So let's refer to the method. Step number one is to multiply the x squared and constant terms together. So let's do step number one. Back to the paper and pen. So here is the x squared term. Here is the constant term. So in step number one, we need to multiply these two together. So x squared times plus 6 is plus 6x squared. So this takes us nicely to step number two. So if we refer to the screenshots, step number two is we need to think of two terms which when multiplied gives the answer to step number one and when added together gives the x term within the quadratic. So if we go back to the paper and pen, so we need to think about two terms. When we multiply them, we get plus 6x squared. And when you add your two terms together, you should get plus 5x, the x term in the quadratic. So let's check these terms, plus 6x and plus 1x. So let's have a go with these terms first. So let's check. Plus 6x times plus 1x gives us plus 6x squared. So when you add these terms together, you don't get the x term plus 5x in the quadratic. So these two terms don't work. Let's try these terms. So let's have a go at these two. Minus 6x and minus 1x. When I multiply these terms together, minus 6x times minus 1x gives us plus 6x squared. However, when you add the terms together, minus 6x minus 1x, you don't get the x term in the quadratic. So these terms don't work. How about these two? Plus 3x and plus 2x. When I multiply these terms, plus 3x times plus 2x gives us plus 6x squared. However, when I add the two terms, let's have a check when we add these terms together, plus 3x plus 2x when added gives us plus 5x. So these are the two terms. So back to the screenshot. So this takes us to step number three, replace the x term in the quadratic by these two terms. So let's go back to the paper and pen. So here is step number three. Let's replace 5x, the x term, by the two terms that we thought about. So we have x squared. 5x, I'm going to replace by plus 3x plus 2x. And I want to mention also, when you replace the terms, you can replace them in any order. It doesn't really matter which order you replace them in. And finally, plus 6. So over here, I've replaced the 5x by the two terms that we thought about. So this takes us nicely to step number four. So let's go to the screenshot. Step number four is to factorize the answer of step three using grouping. So back to the paper and pen, just to remind ourselves of grouping. So remember the idea of grouping. First, I need to group the terms in pairs. So I'll write the first two terms, x squared and three x, in a bracket and I write the last two terms 2x plus 6 in a bracket also. In the next step remember the idea we need to factorize each bracket using common factor factorization. So for the first bracket I'm taking a common factor of x leaving me with x plus 3 plus and for the second bracket I'm taking out a common factor of 2 leaving me with x plus 3 also. So remember the final stage of grouping. So in this case, I've highlighted these terms in red because remember, in grouping, these two bracket terms should be the same. So let's have a double check. So these two terms in brackets are the same. So in the final step, we need to factorise further by taking out a common factor. So if I take out a common factor of x plus 3, I'm left with x plus 2. 
So this should be the solution to factorising the quadratic for part B. So part C is to factorise the quadratic 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. So let's remind ourselves of step one of the method. Step one is to multiply the x squared and constant terms together. So back to the paper and pen. So in this case, my x squared term is 2x squared. My constant term is plus three. So in step number one, when I multiply 2x squared and plus three, I get plus 6x squared. So this takes us nicely to step number two. So back to the screenshot, we need to think of two terms which when multiplied gives us the answer of step one and when added together gives the x term in the quadratic. So if we go back to the paper and pen, we need to think of two terms when I multiply them together I get plus 6x squared and when I add them together I get the x term plus 5x in the quadratic. So the two terms in this case are plus 3x and plus 2x because when I multiply these terms plus 3x times plus 2x is plus 6x squared and plus 3x plus 2x when added together gives us the x term in the quadratic plus 5x. So this takes us to step number three. So back to the screenshot replace the x term in the quadratic by these two terms and remember you can replace them in any order. So back to the paper and pen. So I have 2x squared. Let me replace the 5x by the two terms that we thought about which are plus 3x and plus 2x. So remember you can replace them in any order. So you can write the plus 2x here and the plus 3x here. It wouldn't affect the answer. Plus the three at the end. This takes us to the last step, step number four. So back to the screenshot. So step number four, factorize the answer to step three using grouping. So back to the paper and pen. So let's use grouping. So the first step of grouping write the first two terms in a bracket, write the last two terms in a bracket. Next step of grouping, factorize each bracket by taking a common factor. So from the first bracket, I'm taking a common factor of x, leaving me with 2x plus three. From this bracket, I'm taking a common factor of one, also leaving me with 2x plus three. So this takes us to the final stage of grouping. So these two brackets are the same and they should be. So if I factorize by taking a common factor of 2x plus 3, I'm left with x plus 1. So this should be the solution to part C for when you factorize. So that completes that example and that sadly ends this video. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, a like is very much appreciated. Do plenty of practice related problems and I hope to see you again. Thank you.